Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. We are going to be doing my November favorites, which I am so excited to share with you guys. Also, you guys are seeing this video on a Tuesday instead of the normal Monday uploads. I have some filming issues, so this video is not going to be going up until Tuesday. Um, all that being said, that housekeeping done, let's go ahead and dive on into the favorites. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of go in order of how I do my face and we're gonna go from there. So my very first favorite is a brow product actually, which if you are um, a frequent watcher of my channel, you understand how crazy that is. But it is this brow pencil by The Brow Gal. This pencil is their um, me medium brown is just called the pencil and I really like it because it is double-sided It has this like regular kind of pencil side on the one side and on the other side it has this spoolie but it also comes with a built-in sharpener so I typically keep sort of the sharpener side on the spoolie end just so that I'm not accidentally like cutting myself when I'm trying to take it off and do my brows and not really paying attention um, but I really like that. It's very convenient and this pencil is really, really nice. It's creamy, it's pigmented, but it's not too pigmented and not too creamy. I feel like sometimes brow products can be too emollient and it just kind of makes it harder for you to be really precise and get the look that you need. And I feel like this has just been really doing the job for me lately. So I really have been enjoying this brow pencil and um yeah i really like it okay so my next product is another brow product which i know is very very surprising but it is the nyx professional makeup tinted brow mascara in the shade chocolate it just looks like this and when you pull it out you get a spoolie this little tiny like fine spoolie that looks a little bit like this or exactly like this actually um it's really really nice and I've just been enjoying this because right now I'm trying to do my brows like not quite as deep and dark as I normally do and I feel like this is just a really good color for my brows it lightens them up but it's not too light it's a very natural color on me and it does a really great job of just keeping my brows in check and in shape and you know in formation all day long I still love the Anastasia brow gel the absolute best out of any brow gels but this brow gel is really, really good, and I've been reaching for this every single day, so I really like this one as well. I'm going to be talking about this e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. I am sure you have seen this, like, all over the internet. I found out about it because I think the first person that mentioned it was Juicy Jazz. Andre Renee mentioned it. I'm, I'm sure a bunch of other people have as well. I decided to go ahead and try it out. This is meant to be a dupe for the um, Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I don't know whether or not it is a dupe for that. I don't think I've ever tried anything from Milk Makeup, but I have this and I really, really, really like it. Um, this time of the year, I really am reaching for more like glowy foundations. I mean, honestly, year round, I really enjoy to look glowy, not dewy, but just like naturally healthy and glowy. And I feel like during the winter time, I want to feel really hydrated. And I think that this does a good job of like making me feel relatively hydrated while not making me feel like something's going to slip off of my face. And so I can use this with my more hydrating water-based foundations. And I just feel like it does a really good job. It is very sticky. Like when you put it on your face, you feel a stickiness quality to it. But that definitely helps to grip everything and keep the foundation on your face longer so it's not sliding around. And I'm wearing my NARS foundation today. I've also used it with um, drugstore foundations. And I feel like it looks beautiful and works beautifully with both of those formulas. Um, like for the different formulas and different, you know, high end, low end, it just works really well. I really enjoy it. And a little bit honestly goes a long way. Like one dot will do you. Like for my whole forehead, I can use one dot. Use two, two, one. Like I use a total of six dots basically, I think, to do my entire face more or less. It's going to last you a long time. And I think it's, what is it, $8 from e.l.f. It's a really, really good primer. It has a pleasant scent. So it smells like watermelon. If you have been on the fence about getting this or if you're looking for, an affordable primer that's going to really grip your makeup keep it on your face that will work with a multitude of products keeping you look looking healthy and glowy while also like not making everything slide all around I would recommend this this is definitely not like an oil control primer but it does keep the makeup on your face and it's just a really good primer so I really like this one I don't know if this is my first time having a drugstore foundation in my favorites or not but that's what we have today I have these elf just kidding they're not elf I have these NYX born to glow foundations and I'm in the shades golden and golden honey I've been mixing these two shades lately um I know that 
come probably like the end of December to January, um, probably until I would say like March or April, I am going to be most likely just golden, which is the paler shade. Um, I'm getting into my paler points as we speak. Um, but I really, really enjoy these foundations. They, I would not say that they are um, a perfect dupe for the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear, which again, I'm wearing on my face right now. This foundation, I feel like, just works miracles like even without using like an hydro grip primer and it just lasts me it looks so beautiful all day this i will say has worked the best for me since i started pairing it with with the elf hydro grip primer before that like i did notice like some lines increasing but once i started using it with that primer i didn't notice any of that at all as well i just i feel like um I just, I just feel like it's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful, but it's not an exact dupe for the NARS, in my opinion. Um, I do think that these are just fantastic foundations. Also with these, a little bit goes a long way. I will have so much left over after I use it, and that's partially because a lot of products can like come out of the bottle um, because it's a squeezy tube. You can't quite control it. But all that being said, it's such a beautiful formula. It will last you a good period of time. It keeps you looking really glowy, makes your skin feel hydrated. It's so beautiful, a beautiful, beautiful glowy finish. And I really like the shade range. I am a very golden like girl. I have a very golden undertone. And these are so golden and match my undertone so nicely. Um, I always get compliments when I have this on my skin and I just, I really love this foundation. So these are two, definitely two of my favorites or just one of my favorite foundations of this year so far, honestly. Next product is going to be another face product and it is this Benefit Hula Caramel Bronzer. I am honestly so surprised about this because let me tell you, I used to work at Ulta and when I worked at Ulta, I would get so annoyed with Benefit and let me explain why. It would be because Benefit would come in and I worked on the prestige team so I was doing all the high-end makeup and I would have to have trainings with brands, which I loved of course, and I would get, I would like play with different products and I would sit there and get all excited about like all of the thought that went into this and all of the work and the science and the labs and all these things that they're teaching us and telling us about and then they would pull out the shades and there would be like three shades and none of them would work for anybody even my skin tone and they would send home like gratis and I would go to put it on and it just looked like pale and ghostly on me and I just feel like there are so many products like Benefit would fix or adjust the line and they would say, you know, oh, we're going to bring this back later. We're gonna, we're gonna um, pull the deeper shades and bring them back, or we're going to add on deeper shades later. And I felt like it was always an afterthought instead of a like before thought. And I feel like Benefit is finally really starting to like maybe realize that they have a wider range of people that they can cater to with products besides just their brows and like mascara. And when I tried this one, I don't know how long this has been out because I really have not been checking for Benefit for a really long time. I just was so elated and so happy. It's not too warm, it's not too cool. It's just like the perfect amount of warmth. And I just really, really love it. And I hope that Benefit kind of continues, not even kind of, full on continues. Excuse me, rude. I hope that Benefit full on continues with just, you know, being more inclusive in all of their launches and not making anything like a second you know second go around like oh we'll take care of all the other people the second time around like take care of everybody the first time around that's how brands should be launching product and i just i don't know i'm really appreciative that i finally have a like face product from benefit that i can use because i've never had that before so very very happy with this one next product is going to be mascara so this is a little mini version of it. I um, got this as like a gift with purchase for another Maybelline product that I purchased, but this is the Maybelline The Colossal Mascara. And I know a lot of you guys are probably like, this came out in like 2006, what are you talking about? I know, this is an old mascara, but it is so good, you guys. I never, ever, ever had an like inclination to go and buy this and try this out. But it came in a box, I needed it for a video, and I just really like it, you know? I found myself reaching for this like every single time I'm putting on my makeup more or less. Like I have to force myself to put on a different mascara, even over my high ends, because it's, one, it's tiny and convenient, and if I'm in a rush, I know I can just like throw it in a bag and keep on going because I just like this mini size. But two, like I know that if I leave it or lose it, it's affordable, I can go back and get it. And I know that I would want to go back and get it because it is so good. It does a really good job of just thickening and lengthening my lashes. I feel like I see a difference when I use it. 
yes I do have to go in a few times with some coats and everything but I just I feel like it does something for my lashes I personally have become a fan of this I've been reaching for it all the time really really enjoying this the next product is also a drugstore product I have actually a good chunk of like drugstore products in this favorites it's just, which is very interesting um this is the l'oreal telescopic mascara in carbon black i cannot remember whether or not i mentioned this last month i don't care i'm going to talk about it anyway i really 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 enjoy this mascara i use this specifically for my lower lash line um i have not worn mascara on my lower lash line for about two years or more because i have such long lower lashes that when i wear mascara i feel like it just spiders it down and i felt like i never had a mascara that like one was tiny enough to get in there and not like leave any marks on my face but two that just did the job without making my lashes look really spidery at the bottom and this does this definitely is an elongating mascara but the wand is so tiny that i feel like it doesn't overdo it and i can control like how much of the length and volume i'm putting on to my mask like my lashes so i really enjoy this i've been loving putting on lower lash mascara with this um it's just really great this lip liner from profusion this is in the shade does it say it charmer charm this is in the shade charm this um lip liner is so pretty i'm going to show you a swatch of it right here it is such a beautiful look how creamy that is it is such <laughs> it literally just broke as i was saying it it is very creamy it's also very affordable so i'm not that mad that it broke because i think this lip liner is like two dollars or something like that like you, you get in a kit but um it's just such a good lip liner um it is so obviously affordable like i said and it's just such a beautiful color i don't really have any other lip liners that are quite as like chocolatey as this this is like a chocolatey like burnt orange-esque type lip liner and it's just so pretty and normally when i'm doing a lip look i'm reaching for my ColourPop bff3 mascara but lately i've been reaching for this um, almost a little bit more than the BFF3, which is not to say that's being replaced. This has just been like so fascinating to me because it looks so good with so many neutral lip looks, you know? Whenever I wanna wear a neutral lip, I just love the way that this pairs because it gives that beautiful hint of warmth. It's just so pretty. Um, obviously, if I wanna go deeper, I reach for a deeper one, but this one is just so beautiful. It's so chocolatey, and I really love a good chocolatey brown lip. Almost every single day that I'm wearing a gloss, I'm wearing this one. This is the Iconic London Lip Gloss in the shade, does it say Plumping Gloss? It just says Plumping Gloss. This is the Iconic London Lip Gloss in the shade Nearly Nude. Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. Somebody said it actually smells really good. I don't think I've ever like paid attention to the smell. Let's see. Hmm. I don't really notice too much. I think it just smells like fresh, I guess. It doesn't smell like like paint to me, which is good. Um, I really like this lip gloss. It is plumping. Like when you put it on your lips, give it a second, you're gonna feel like a cooling sensation and it's gonna be plumping your lips. Um, it is so, so good. I've really been enjoying Iconic London. I only have two products from them, um, a brow product and this, but I'm in love with both of them. So I really, really, really just, this gloss is just so pretty. I tried it out on camera. Actually, I'll have that linked up here for you guys. I highly recommend this if you want to try out something from Iconic London. Um, I think this is definitely something to check out from them. It's so, so, so good. This is the Jackie Ina palette with Anastasia Beverly Hills. Y'all, this palette is so beautiful. First of all, this packaging, this lighting isn't even like doing it the justice that it deserves. This palette is absolutely stunning. If you haven't seen it, look it up online, go into your local Sephora or Ulta, check it out. It is gorgeous. And when you open it up, you have the most beautiful array of colors. I mean, this palette is genuinely like breathtakingly beautiful i love this palette i have used it not as much as i probably should have honestly i know it still looks very pretty and untouched that's because it's so beautiful and i don't want to mess it up but i have been just reaching for it more and more and more and the reason is because one it's a jackie Ina palette it's an Anastasia palette i already know that it's going to be high quality but two because this palette just works for everything i went out on a really nice fancy dinner the other night with my friends to celebrate one of my friends birthdays and I wore this palette and they were just, everybody was like talking about how beautiful the eye look was. 
I love the way that it came out. I wore this palette on my um, Thanksgiving dinner, my actual Thanksgiving dinner for Thanksgiving Eve. I wore a drugstore palette, have that video linked, um, for just so many different things. I just reach for this palette and it's so pretty. I know I literally still have the brush in there. I need to take the brush out, but I love this palette. If you want to do like a quick, fast, easy look on more detailed look, whatever you want, you can do with this. And I literally will just take it out and stare at it at sometimes because it's so beautiful. And I just want to play with every single shadow, every single color, everything in there. So I highly suggest that if you are interested, go ahead, check out that palette. You will not be disappointed. It is stunning one of the best palettes in my entire collection honestly not just in my Anastasia collection and I'm in an Anastasia fiend so like y'all don't even know I love her palettes but this palette this palette is next level okay guys and that completes our video I really hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did please make sure to comment down below tell me what some of your favorites were this month if you've tried any of the stuff that I've um, mentioned and if there's other similar things maybe that you think I should try out as well Make sure also to like this video, subscribe, and give it a, yeah, give it a thumbs up. I already said that. Um, hit the notification bell. That way you will never miss an upload. I am here most likely every Monday, um, unless something happens and I will let you guys know, but I upload on Mondays. And during this holiday season, you might be seeing a little bit of an extra upload here or there for me. So make sure that you guys are tuned in for that as well. I love all of you guys so, so, so much. I'm so grateful for you guys. I hope you guys had a very happy Thanksgiving if you celebrate with your families and I hope you have a really great holiday season. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye my loves.